Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm basically posting my own example for the student uh, programming exercise number three, uh, where we are supposed to um, basically play around with uh, blinking LEDs for open and for shut as we control the door. Um, I noticed that a uh, few other people have posted their own program for number one and number two but I did not see a video on YouTube posted for this one yet so I thought about posting my own. Uh, basically I use a lot of um, um, latches which are not uh, which is kind of frowned upon uh, PLC programming but as I am a beginner myself I uh, this was the only easy way for me to do it so this is the way I did it so let's go ahead this is basically the program that you're looking at. I have unlatch and latch reversed as I switch from open to close. Um, I have uh, rung number three is the important one where I basically alternate between um, blinking uh, HR LED when the door is not fully opened or closed or keeping it on if it's fully opened or fully closed. Actually turn it off, I'm sorry, turn it off when it's fully open and fully closed. So let's go ahead and download it and actually see it conform to the specs that we are required to. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And uh, I will run it. Go online, run. So now basically I'm looking at as it's supposed to be right now the HR LED is blinking. This is because uh, the door is not either opened or closed fully. And I'm doing that in rung number three. Basically I have the PLC timer. Um, as you can see it through here, bit S4. Seven, I used for this since it's uh, we are required to make it one fourth as fast as uh, as the LEDs when the door is opening or shutting down. We will get to this later, but basically you see it uh, blinking not too fast. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and play with this. Um, I, right now I want to go ahead and close it as I can as you can see the shut is blinking and now it's solid um, this is energized um, in this front basically I'm looking at the status of the lower limit switch and um, I'm also looking at <coughs> the latch for my motor down which is uh, right now it's actually energized. The unlatch for the motor down is energized. That's how it gives me a solid shot. So if I go ahead and open it, uh, you will see we both conform to the HR being solid when the door is uh, opening and the open LED is uh, blinking. That's in run number five. I'm basically looking at the motor up, let's slow it down a little bit, the motor up, and I have another timer here, same same uh, concept. So I'm going to let it go through all the way at the end, and if I, again, if I stop it, I will still see the HR blinking, but not solid as when the door is in movement. So if we go all the way up, uh, we have a solid open, as it's supposed to be. This is because the motor up has been unlatched, and uh, the upper relay is not active yet. So this one is already, so this one is active, that's how I get that. And this is basically it. We can run it a few times. We can 
can see it blinking and then you can go the other way the open is blinking and if I stop it you'll see that the HR is still uh, one fourth as fast as the open or the shut and if you have any comments please uh, don't hesitate to post them up or if somebody has a different idea how to do this this was my program. Thanks for watching.